King Charles's three-word whisper to Prince William that sent royal fans into a frenzy. Enthusiasts were left in meltdown after the pair shared an incredibly close moment, at an official event with all eyes watching. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British royal family. Royal fans have been sent into a frenzy after learning what three words King Charles whispered to Prince William live on TV. The pair are thought to have always had a close bond, and it has now been made even more apparent by the King's warm words to his son. Charles was not long ago crowned the new monarch of the UK at his coronation, which captured the imagination of the nation and its many high-profile guests. The ceremony was attended by world leaders, celebrities and dozens of royals. At one stage of the service, Prince William paid tribute to his father by kneeling before him and pledging his loyalty. He said, I, William, Prince of Wales, pledge my loyalty to you, and faith and truth I will bear unto you, as your liege man of life and limb. So help me God. It was a moment that sent spines tingling in millions of Brits, as the nation hushed to hear Wills's every word. However, it ended up being the moment that followed which was the standout of the day. Immediately after William pecked his father's cheeks, Charles replied with three touching words. Leaning into William's face, he whispered back, Thank you, William. Although not audible on the TV broadcast, the words were deciphered by a lip-reading expert. Despite not being totally sure until the confirmation, royal fans were in no mood to hesitate on celebrating. King Charles decided to make the coronation more financially appropriate amid the cost-of-living crisis which is still enduring. Whereas his mother, Queen Elizabeth II, had a coronation ceremony featuring vast flauntings of wealth and a monumental guest list, Charles chose to do the opposite. The guest list was totaled at just 2,000 people, compared to 8,250 for Elizabeth II, while he drastically reduced the length of the service. He also chose to wear military uniform, rather than the flagrant silk stockings and breeches which are tradition.